The Strahov Abbey was originally founded in 1143. The monastery complex was reconstructed after it was hit by fire in 1258. The monastery's development halted in 1420 when the Hussites plundered the abbey. During the 17th and the early 18th century, other abbots continued in the reconstruction of the monastery and church. In fact, the monastery experienced great building activity after the assault of French and Bavarian troops in 1742, when Prague was bombarded and seriously damaged. Most of the medieval Gothic buildings were rebuilt in Baroque style. Overall, the Strahov Library, which is located inside this building, contains over 200,000 volumes, including over 3,000 manuscripts and 1,500 first prints stored in a special depository. Many of the works are from 1501 to 1800. In 1670, an abbot had a new library built called the Theological Hall, which was completed in 1679. It houses a theological book collection of the Strahov Library. The stucco decoration and paintings are from the early 18th century. The frescoes on the ceiling of the theological hall took four years to complete. They depict the profession of the librarian. At the end of the 18th century, an abbot built a new library, which today is called the Philosophical Hall. The two-story high hall contains over 42,000 books, many of them rare. The room is a shrine to knowledge. The fresco called Intellectual Progress of Mankind is about the developments of science and religion and how true wisdom is found. Seven hours. Yes. Saint John of Nepomuk. Saint Paul preaching to the, to the heretics. Yeah. So it's, it's 300 people you can find if you go one by one, you will not believe who everybody is on the same fresco. The history of mankind. Please ask. Uh, at the, actually, there is a book which describes one behind one uh, all the Europe and the first one. This one was completed 17 and never, never in the last century. 